Okay, so this is uh, today's project. I'm gonna do a rear disc brake conversion on this. That'll be a separate video, but um, I'm pull, putting uh, 456 gears in this and I got a lock right locker. Kinda had an issue on it. The pin that holds the center pin in is broke off in there, so I'll have to do a video on how to. I'll probably just demolish the whole thing, but save the locker to get that out and reset the gears. Never done this before, so we'll see how it goes and see how YouTube certified master automotive technician I am. But um, there's the ring gear, I'm putting it in it. Got these elite gear set with the master rebuild kit, so it's got all the bearings and seals and everything I need. So we'll see how that goes, and then because the locker gave me so many problems, I went ahead and uh, got myself a Yukon gear posi track because I don't really wheel my truck a whole lot, and I just need the extra traction. So I got this. It's a pretty nice little setup. Um, we'll see how well that does, but. I'm not even going to really overbuild my extended cab because it's it's kind of my daily pretty boy truck but I just like to have the extra traction in the back for when I do take it wheeling that I don't do the one wheel wonder in the back so uh, that's what I got that for and then I got this rear disc brake conversion kit from um, Lugnut 4x4 I'm going to do a separate video on doing that conversion and post a link on uh, who you can do it because shit they come with the most complete kits that you can for a uh, rear disc brake conversion on you know uh, American made axles but it's kind of nice to see them do some Toyota stuff because a lot of Toyota guys need to do a rear disc brake conversion and uh, you know come with the brackets the calipers not sure what they come off of they didn't really give me any instructions but um, I got the brake lines I need the brake pads the rotors everything so not bad for a semi float 14 bolt for uh, 349 it's a pretty good deal. I mean, that's about the cheapest uh, uh, disc brake conversion kit you can get that's most complete. You know, but it's your choice, but yeah, I, I like the lug nut stuff so far. But here in a bit, I gotta paint those up and get it ready, and then do the gears, and I'll have that filmed. All right, so uh, this is a 410 gear differential uh, I bought at a salvage yard. It's actually a two wheel drive. And the problem I ran into it is it's uh, eight lug. I couldn't do the six lug conversion on it. And they're a little narrower than the four-wheel drive ones, so let's see if I zoom in there. But if you can see the piece of aluminum right there, that's an eight-lug to six-lug divert conversion kit I bought to run my six-lug tires. And uh, the reason why I put this on here originally was to um, get rid of the 373 gear drill end I'm working on right now. But uh, I decided to go with this instead because uh, they got me by for what I needed and I bought a, another IFS front end that was supposed to be 410 geared but when I put it in four wheel drive the front tires turned a little faster so I ended up with another 373 geared rear end I mean a front end and uh, decided to um, go ahead and go with the 456 gears and with the 35 1250s that would be a better option than the 410 but I did like the 410 it did wake up the um, power band a little more in the mortar than what it was and uh, just gonna see how the 456 is doing at least I have matching gear set for sure this time and all right now time to do some surgery on this thing and then bolt this uh, diff cover and uh, see what we kind of got dealing with here I hope it's not all rusted up I changed the gear on this a few times get set for a few years so here we go Power tubes are nice. Save that one for later. Well, this stuff cover was pretty at one time. <laughs> yeah. 
Got that right stuff. Look at how tight it gets it on here. Alright. Alright, let's work our little round here. Yeah, dry stuff's pretty good uh, basket maker here, but goddamn, combined with bits get off. Oh, there we go. Tap around here a little more here. Maybe. Oh, oh, there we go. Pull that off there, and I bet that thing is backed off. I get lucky. Hey, you guys, it's not all rusty. So I'll rotate this around for you guys, but I'll show you the lock light lock screen. Oh, we emptied it? Oh. Well, I'll give it a good flush in anyway. Oh. Alright, so there's the lock right locker right there. Oh, I'll zoom it in for you. Here we go, here comes zoom action. Yeah. See, there's the lock right locker right there. Not a bad deal to get, but the problem I had with it when I had it in my truck was uh, it ate up my lower ball joints. I got these uh, badass off-road design ones. Um, they're, I think they're called TXT or TRT uh, ball joints. Didn't even last eight months, and I'm pretty sure that was part of the reason why they got killed out. All right, so that's the center pin I got to take out. It broke off. I'll bolt it here really quick, and I'll show you exactly what I got to do, and I got to figure out a way to get that out of there so I can get these axle shafts off. Oh, sorry for the zoom there. Uh, here, I'll zoom out. There. Whoa, okay, there we go. So, uh, yeah, so I can get these axle shafts out so I can take the carrier out and put my new one in. And get all the gears and stuff set up on that. So, that's the goal for right now. So, here we zoom back in so I can give you guys a better view of what I got to do here. Oh, too far. Okay, right there. That'll work. Here we go. Loose. Oh, this thing to be just cherry all clean now. <laughs> Tyler, I got it all gear oiled up. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, making a mess here. Anyway, look at the gun. Nope. See, so here's what happened. This thing broke off inside there, so I gotta figure out a way to get that. Okay, I cut this part out, but I got the center pin out of the. I mean, the bolt that holds the center pin in. Uh, I got that out. Took a bit of drilling and um, to get it out. And I took it a little easy out here. So this part is what broke off. Right here where it stood it on there and then I just kept drilling and drilling and I just said fuck it was able to get a easy out in there I had to take the cap off as you can see to get the drill in there nice and straight because you know I don't got all the professional tools so I'm just working with what I got here and um, now I'm just gonna get the center pin out get the locker out and then um, pull the cap off pull the other cap off and get the rest of this differential out and if you can see Right over where the bearing cap is, um, at one time the bearings got hot. Probably explain why this rear end was howling. Part of the reason why I got rid of this rear end besides the taller gears. One day it just up inside and started howling and I could kind of see why now. Well, it sat for two years and it was plumb full of rust too. So, it is what it is, but now I can uh, pull stuff apart and get the new gears in and give you guys a step-by-step -step on this. So, Alright, so this is disassembling a lock right locker on this differential. So, yeah, here we go. Watch this magic trick, I'll get this pin to fall out. Yeah. Uh oh, Captain, I think she's wedged in there. Uh, let's see. Take a 
punch here. Oh, this is unexpected. <laughs> I think I finally, when I drove it out, I think I kind of got a burger on the side of the center pin there. I might have fucked it up, we'll spike out here. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh, you know what it is? I think those springs kind of got it pressed against a lot more though. I think I was right. Oh, I didn't touch the center pin, so that's good. Alright, um, I gotta borrow your little fix to pick these springs out. And then slide these pieces out. Oh, that's right, yeah. Okay, it's going to go launching because this is another one that's got a hook. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Um, I can't remember how to do this. you got to press reverse on it, right? Uh, it's not a hot one. It's not a hot one. Here it goes. Um, it's got a little extra tiny. Inside of it and stop. I forgot about this part. Put the little springs. Put the little one out. Here. And uh, put all this. Yeah, there you go. We got a little sandwich bag for this. These are put together, though it's taken apart. Oh, there it goes. All right, there's one. Um, yeah, that's probably why this thing's so rough, is because the way it, uh, it locks up, you know. Hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. I think I found my odd noise. Oh, yeah, did you replace that bearing? Definitely easier to put it in that thing for coming from then? That my fan's making. Oh, is it? Got a broken fan blade. Oh, shit. Yeah, bolts. Sex Alternator blade. bolts loose. She needs some TLC before he goes and takes her out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why it's in here. I'm not sure if we got a fan in storage or... Uh, I think I gave Tristan my good fan. There's four of these little springs in this locker. I'm 
remember putting this in thinking, all oh, these little pins hold it together. Well, all it does is to keep it centered with the, you know, for the spring actuating, for locking them up. These things are so stupid simple, but man, they're fucking rough. Well, it should be meant to be a little bit for show bash, huh? Clip, I gotta take all that apart, so not to kill you guys with this. I'm gonna stop for a second and uh, pound the drums off and then push them in and resume this little project of mine. Okay, so the center pin fell out, so see, I got that side off. Um, I'm gonna push the other one in and see if I can get it to go too. So here we go, just bear with me. I can't get this piece out now because... Oh, here we go. There. Got that out, Eric. Nice. Okay. See, see, uh, need a C-clip here. That's for the actual shaft. Just making a pile of tools. There we go. They okay, secret fell on that too, so. So here we go, slide this asshole shot down. Oh, look at the drum. I don't need it anyways. Oh shit, I had a seal going out this whole time, you guys. Good thing I get an all new seal kit with that disc brake conversion. So. Oh. 
That's all you do is you just uh, take these pieces after you uh, replace them with the spider gear and put them in. There's your locker for these. Um, too bad I didn't do the proper video how to take it on and off, but that's what you do. I'm just trying to get these gears set up and get this axle ready to put on my truck. So that's all I got going on. No how-to video. Just showing you guys what I'm doing.